DJI FPV Tutorials First Flight DJI FPV Drone Open the micro SD card cover and insert a micro SD card. Remove the gimbal cover. Ensure the propellers are properly attached. Align the propeller on the motor, then press down and rotate to secure them. Insert the battery into the battery compartment. Make sure it is secured in place. DJI FPV Goggles V2 The front of the DJI FPV Goggles V2 has four replaceable antennas to ensure optimum signal receiving and communication. Ensure the antennas are properly tightened before flying. On the upper right side of the goggles, you will find the shutter record button, back button, and 5D button. Toggle the 5D button to scroll the menu and press to confirm a selection. Toggle up to go back and toggle down to move to the next option. Toggle right to shift menu options right. Toggle left to shift menu options left. On the right side of the goggles, you will find the link button, power port, and audio port. The micro SD card slot and USB-C port are on the left side. The USB-C port can be used to connect with smartphones via the OTG cable. On the bottom of the goggles, you will find the IPD slider. You can adjust the interpupillary distance by moving the slider left or right. You can also purchase and install DJI FPV goggles corrective lenses according to your visual needs. DJI FPV Remote Controller 2 The DJI FPV Remote Controller 2 has a USB-C port in the middle that can be used for charging or to connect to a computer for firmware updates. Control stick slots are located on both sides of the remote controller. On the front side of the remote controller, you can find the customizable C1 button, lanyard attachment, and power button. Press the power button once to check the battery level. Press once and then hold for two seconds to power the remote controller on or off. The antenna is located on the top of the remote controller. Unfold the antenna during flight for optimum signal transmission. You will find the flight pause RTH button flight mode switch, and gimbal dial on the left side. Press the flight pause RTH button once while flying, and the drone will stop and hover in place. Press the button and hold for two seconds, and the drone will automatically return to home. The flight mode switch button supports three modes, N, normal mode, S, sport mode, and M, manual mode. Toggle the gimbal dial to the left and right to adjust the gimbal pitch. In the top of the controller, you will find the customizable C2 switch, shutter record button, and start stop button. The C2 switch is set to control gimbal movements by default. You can also customize this button's function by going to setting, control, remote controller on the goggles interface. Press the shutter record button once to take a photo or to start or stop recording. Press and hold the shutter record button to switch between photo and video modes. Pre-flight setup. For your first flight, we recommend choosing an open and unobstructed area. Check the battery level and place the drone on level ground. Remember, the drone should be facing outward with the rear side facing you. Power on. Check the battery level of the remote controller and power on. Set the remote controller to in mode before taking off. Check the battery level of the goggles. Power on. And adjust the headband and interpupillary distance for a clear, comfortable display. Check the screen interface and make sure no errors occur and GPS signal is sufficient. Power on the motors of the drone by pushing the control sticks down and inward. Then push the left stick up to ascend. The RTH point will be set after takeoff. Please remember the position of your home point. Basic operation, using mode two as an example. In in mode, use the left control stick to adjust flight height and heading. Use the right control stick to fly the drone forward, backward, left and right. When pushing the right stick to fly forward, 
You can also push the left stick to the left or right for turning with customizable roll angle limits. In in mode, the drone will only slow down when obstacles are detected. It will not stop and hover automatically. You'll need to manually control the drone to stop or to bypass detected obstacles. After switching to S mode, control logic will remain the same, but the drone's maximum flight speed will increase to 27 meters per second. In S mode, obstacle sensing is disabled. S mode also supports cruise control. Press the start stop button to enter cruise control. Press again to exit. Once cruise control is enabled, the drone will fly forward at a constant speed without any control stick movements. You can also move the right control stick forward or backward to accelerate or decelerate. For users interested in in-mode flight, make sure you have watched the in-mode tutorial before flying and have adequately practiced in the DJI Virtual Flight app in order to ensure a safe, controlled flight. If an emergency occurs or you experience loss of orientation or control during flight in any mode, simply press the Flight Pause RTH button and the drone will stop and hover in place. RTH and Land Press and hold the Flight Pause RTH button to make the drone automatically return to home. When returning to home, set the drone to end mode and always keep an eye on the home point shown on screen. Pay attention to the surrounding environment when landing. Due to the limitations of GPS precision, there may be small deviations between the set home position and the actual landing location. You can press the Flight Pause RTH button again to cancel return to home. In order to avoid any burns caused by overheating, do not detach the propellers immediately after landing. Safety precautions. If the drone is lost during flight, but the camera view is still available, go to the Find My Drone page and try to locate it on the map using the camera view, along with flashes and beeps from the drone. If the camera view is not available, you can locate your drone by comparing the coordinates on the Find My Drone page with the coordinates in your last flight log. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to always be safe and have fun when flying. Hit the like button if this tutorial was helpful. If you need any support with your DJI gear, feel free to contact us via Facebook Messenger by following the link in the description. Thank you for watching.